Welcome to the Young Guns Game Show. I'm your host, Alexander Ali. Today on the show, we've got on the mini John and Frederick, Angel and Eric, who are going to go head to head in a battle of knowledge to see who will take home the trophy and bragging rights for Young Guns Game Show. Angel and Eric, um, welcome to the show. First up, let's meet our contestants, the self-proclaimed mini and Fred and John. Eric and Angel, uh, which, which one is Fred and which one's John? Ooh. Oh, that's a good question. We, we haven't thought about that. Um, I think just based on height, I would say I'm Fred and he's John. Yeah, that, that works. Based on height, uh, that's it. Just based on height. Just based on that. height. Well, Angel, you're originally from Miami and you moved to Los Angeles. What do you think is the uh, best part about living in Los Angeles? Uh, I'd say, you know, just everything you do here, you could be in the desert at the same time you could ski all in the same week, just how vast it is, beautiful, the mountains. You don't get that in Florida, so. I love that. And then, uh, so you will be our Frederick and Eric, you are our John. You are originally from Philadelphia. You went to the Wharton School of Business and now you are here selling real estate. Tell us, what um, is the most smarty pants thing you know? Oh, uh, I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually hate saying that. I, I always like to say don't know everything. I think being somebody who's willing to learn new things is good. But I do ask Angel. I know a lot, and I'm always right. So Wow, he's always right. Well, we're going to put that to the test today. Angel and Eric, are you ready for round? Round one, one is called... Who sold that property? We're gonna tell you a property that sold and you're going to tell us which agents sold it. And you guys have to buzz in by raising your hand. Can I like buzz okay. in that way? Whoever raises their hand first. First question, who sold it? Who were the agents on the Playboy Mansion that sold the Playboy Mansion? Was it Jade Mills and Kurt Rappaport? Sally Forster Jones and Jeff Highland, or Mauricio Umansky, Gary Gold, and Drew Fenton? Yes, Eric. Last one. Mauricio, Gary, and Drew Fenton? Eric is yeah. correct. All right. All right, that's one for Eric. All right, moving on. Who were the agents on the, that sold Alwood? Was it A, Drew Fenton, Joyce Ray? Oh, 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 we have a, we have a winner. Yes, yeah. Eric. It was uh, Tomer. And who and else? You have to you have to mention all the oh, agents. Sure. Sally, Sally, Tomer. I think I don't know if there were more. Is there more? There's more. Uh, Aaron. Who? Aaron Kerman. No, incorrect. Though I'm gonna give it to you, Eric, because you got two out of the four. The people, the agents who sold the Alwood were Tomer Friedman, Drew Fenton, Sally Forster Jones, and Tyrone McKillen. Oh, that's right, yes. I love that the audience <laughs> is playing along. I love that the audience is playing along. That concludes our first round. Uh, in between rounds, let me ask you a question. You guys started working together and you're a team. Uh, who, who on the team does the most showings? No, oh, I do. Eric, where are you, Angel? What are you doing? <laughs> Um, well, I, I'm right now currently, I mean, I'm here in LA, obviously, but um, I'm mostly in Miami doing the Miami showings. So Eric's here now. Uh, we've been bouncing back and forth quite a bit, but mostly me in Miami and mostly Eric here in LA. So yeah, Eric does most of the showings here. Yeah, in LA. So what we're doing right now is we're kind of recreating what we created here in LA in Miami, trying to take advantage of the hot, hot, hot market there. And Angel really holds it down. So that is smart, smart, smart. And Eklund Gomes has a presence in Miami. So Angel, you're licensed there. So you just go there and sell. I love that. Build that bridge. Yeah. Steady I, for your license. When did you guys get your license? When? Yeah. Uh, I got my license in LA in November of 2019. And then my license in Florida, August of 2019. Uh, I got Florida in 2011 and then LA in 2017. Correction, 2020 for me, August for Florida. Nice. I love that you got that Florida license. Yeah. I, I think everyone should like 
push forward and always be learning. Um, I'm in the process of getting my renewal license. So these are questions from an actual test. Are you ready? Oh, of course. <laughs> Does anybody yeah. even remember this after the test? Like, no, right? No. I like black out when I take tests. I just like kind of fill in yeah. answers and then I run out of the room. Yeah. So. I'll die. I'll die if you guys can't get these. The first one, <laughs> buyer, represent <laughs> buyer representation became mainstream in what decade? Was it A, 1950s, B, 1990s, or C, 1970s? Buyer representation became mainstream in what decade? 1950, 1990, 1970. I'm going to say, and this is a guess, uh, the 90s. I you are correct. 70s. Oh, no. That's correct. Eric gets it for, for his third point. Right. I, I kind of like the peace sign, but I'll go three. Go for three. Which of the following is not true? about an exclusive right to sell listing? Is it A, it discourages cooperation between brokers? B, it encourages brokers to spend resources marketing a property? Or C, it discourages sellers from switching brokers during this listing term? Which is not true. What was B again? B, it encourages brokers to spend resources marketing a property. I think A is the right answer. You have to raise your hand. Oh. oh, Eric. A. A is correct. All right. So you're on four. Well, now we can do double peace signs. We're I'm so to... glad I didn't do this alone, by the way. <laughs> Angel Last <speaks> question. Here. <laughs> Last question. A buyer's agent receives the benefit of greater client loyalty by entering into an agreement known as A a disclosure dual agency, B, listing agreement, or C, buyer agency agreement? Yes, Eric. C. C, a buyer agency agreement is correct. Yay. You both are winners. You're both coming to the party and I can't wait to see you later today. Um, before we leave, your last question is, tell us one thing that you admire about the other person. So I'll go first. I think that uh, before this partnership, you know, we were both really in the office, putting in the time, putting in the work. And uh, I think we both noticed that in each other. So it was like a natural born partnership. But to see his grit and his hard work day in, day out, even though we're not in the same city or, you know, not in the same time zone, it, we're always like connected. And it's really nice to see each other. Um, we're just always on the same page and, and we're very detail oriented. Um, Eric a little more than I, but definitely, yeah, he's got a lot of the qualities that I, 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 I have uh, myself and, and that I admire in him. Eric, what do you admire about Angel? So much. Uh, I think <laughs> the whole idea about a successful partnership is finding somebody that kind of fills the holes where you maybe have some gaps. And I think something I've learned working with Angel is really how to put the client, like, even before first. I mean, he will die for a client the way he speaks to them and, like, assures them that everything's okay. It's just really, really admirable. And I really think that it's one of his best qualities when it comes to, like, a real estate transaction. That's so nice. It's nice to hear people say, or your partners say, say something nice about you. Well, you're both winners of the Young Guns game show. Pew, pew, pew. We will send you a trophy, and by trophy, I mean a virtual hug. And we'll also, you'll be joining us uh, for the Halston event next Friday. Angel, Eric, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for coming thank on the show. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Alex. Have a great Bye. day. See you later.